Hi guys! <laughs>
when I get new plants, I tend to always put them in like my own soil mix anyway. Okay, I'm just going to take all of the soil or as much of the soil off the roots as I can um, to replace it with my own. I mean, the roots don't look as white and juicy as you would like them to, but that's fine. Um, they will be happier once they get into best soil mix. I have quite a lot of roots in here. We're definitely going to need a bigger pot, I reckon. It's quite hard to get all this soil off the roots, but I'm going to try and do as much as I can without disturbing them too much. I try not to disturb the roots too much because it can... I just don't see the point. Um, and it, I feel like it might shock the plant a bit. Um, it's shock enough, like, when you repot them, so best to try not to disturb the roots too much. It seems like all the roots were on one side of this pot, which is really funny, but just don't want really dense soil on one part and not the other. This is my problem. Okay, I've got most of the soil off. There's quite a lot of compacted roots here, but I'm just gonna leave them. It is mostly just roots in there, it's not so much soil. This lighting is really something. I'm sorry about that. It's nice the sun's coming out though. Right, I'm gonna go and grab a bigger pot for this and I'll be back. Okay, I, I'm really running out of um, plastic pots, so this is gonna have to do I think it's a good size when the pole's in there as well. I think that'd be fine. Um, so when I put a plant on a plank, I tend to like to put the wood in first and I put it at the back because um, I've got like three vines home on this wood. I'm gonna kind of have one on each side, I think. And then the back is most likely gonna be up against the wall. So I like to just put them at the back if I can, unless it's a plant that you've got lots of vines in, like I've got a Monstera adansonii and the whole way around it's covered. So in that case, I'd put it in the middle, but now I've only got three vines, so I'm gonna put it right at the back and it can also kind of, has a bit more support from the back of the pot here as well. So I'm just gonna start putting some soil in. just clear tape and start taping the backs of the vines to the actual wood and what I tend to do is keep taping the new leaves to the bar to the wood until they start sticking and eventually it will get to the point where you don't have to um, don't have to tape them anymore because they'll kind of just hold themselves.
might wrap this one around and then so it's got more room to start maturing Okay, so this is what it looks like. My wood is quite tall, so it's gonna probably take a minute to kind of settle in and be a bit more stable, because right now it's not, but. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I put it in this little cover pot now, it's really cute. So I, the, I had one really long vine, which I have wrapped all the way around the back and then taped it on just because I want to give this as much space to mature as I can until I have to extend the pole. Um, so that's what I've done. I've just wrapped the leaves that are already there kind of around the back and then taped it back to the front. And then I've got one going on one side, so I've got one on this side and then another coming up onto the other side. This one on this side is not quite long enough to reach the pole yet. So that's fine, I've not taped that one, I've just left it and I will wait until a couple more leaves have come out and then I will, um, I'll tape it to the side and then hopefully it'll start attaching. This one on the front has got a fresh like aerial root that's just coming out. So I'm really hoping that that one like feels that there's a piece of wood there to attach onto and really takes off. So I hope and yeah, I'm really excited. It's got a couple of new leaves that are trying to unfurl. Um, so I hope I've not kind of disturbed them too much. Um, they were there kind of in shipping. So I just kind of thought it'll be fine. Like they've been free enough already. <laughs> a little more repotting and being on a plank won't hurt. So yeah, I think I'm going to put this in a kind of bright but in direct sunlight if I can find a decent place for it. I'm going to probably put it upstairs because downstairs is a lot colder this time of year. It'll be a lot warmer in summer, but it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to put it upstairs. I also work upstairs in the bedroom, so I might put it in there because I can keep an eye on it like every single day. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to be doing another Palance on Planks. And I might do a little update of the plants and planks that I did the back end of last summer. To be honest, not much has happened with those, but I might give you guys a little update, show you what's been going on over winter with them. Like if you liked this video and comment down below if you have one of these and you have any tips and tricks for me. Also let me know if you're planning on putting any plants on planks this summer. I would 100% recommend it is the best way to get your plants to grow up in my opinion. It's the easiest way as well. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for another planty video. Bye guys. <laughs>